Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about this project called Dara XYZ. It got a nod from Token Terminal. They said some example projects to watch. And the first one here was this Caldera XYZ. Launch your own rollup in one clip, which I found in one click, which I found uh, pretty interesting. So we're going to take a look at it. There is no token for this yet, but I guess that's the point. We can add this to our launch slash watch list. Maybe it'll come out with uh, an airdrop or possibly an IDO, something like that we could watch out for in the future if you end up liking this project. It's got 36.1 thousand followers followed by about 21 people that I know. The modular blockchain platform, deploy rollup in one click, as we said, production ready, running on mainnet. And this modular blockchain platform thing, I'm seeing kind of all over the place. You're seeing it with Celestia. Everyone, it seems to be one of those narratives, maybe in the next bull run, looking out for projects that are like that. Because I believe at the end of the day, they just create, they just allow people to build more flexibly. And it you know helps with interoperability and speed and all that kind of thing. It wasn't always called Caldera, though. Matthew Katz, you can go give him a follow on Twitter as well. I believe he's the uh, CEO. It used to be called Constellation, and it is now called Caldera. So if you see anything referring to it as that, there's no reason. You know, Usually when you see a project rebrand, usually something terrible happened in the past, and they wanted to create a new token or switch something, just kind of start fresh. It doesn't look like that happened here. Their explanation for it is there are just tons of other projects called Constellation. So that's why they switched the name to Caldera. They did raise in February last year. So about a year ago, they raised $9 million to enable Web3 at scale, they say. So we're excited to announce that they've raised $9 million from Sequoia Capital and Dragonfly. Dragonfly. The funding is going to help them grow their team, build out partnerships and integration to support developers and help make Caldera's vision a reality. Unfortunately, I could not find any sales prices. You know, like I said, there is no tokenomics. There's no token for this yet. So maybe when they when they launch the coin, depending on how it's launched, we can look more at the tokenomics and see how much are these people getting at? You know, is it is it publicly being listed at $1 when they got in at like three cents type of thing? So we'll see, we will see. But look how simple this looks here. It looks like you just, you select if you want Arbitrum or Optimism, right? You go to new rollup and we're going to get into some of the features here, but it does look like you just click on this one page and then it's just launch rollup. You get to select your data avail availability layer and then you just get to deploy. It, it's kind of crazy. You would have your own rollup just that fast. Some of the benefits of making your own rollup, cheap transactions, sub second confirmations, and limitless customiz customizability. If you think about it, it's just because, at least at the beginning, everything can be cheap and fast because if you're launching your own rollup, theoretically, there's not that much flowing through it right off the bat. So, But if you were to launch a rollup that reaches Ethereum-level scalability, I'm sure maybe some of this stuff would change. But with these rollups, handle thousands of transactions per second, low predictable fees, and also, if you wanted to, you are able to take the gas fees, you know, you can pay for them yourself if you want to make the uh, transaction fees gasless for your users. Gas customizability, so you can allow users to pay for gas in your project's native token, or you can move remove gas fees entirely, as mentioned. It is EVM compatible. Obviously, Optimism and Arbitrum are the uh, stacks that you're using there. Interoperable natively and trustlessly bridge assets between your Caldera chain and Ethereum, Polygon, or other chains. And then revenue generation, earn transaction fees, bridge fees, and MEV as revenue for your company or DAO. And you would be set up with all the tools that you usually see with rollups and other projects that you likely you know, study and look, and look at, right? Block explorers, testnet faucets, a bridge user interface, the bridge itself, NFT marketplace oracles, instant confirmation and customizability. The use cases they focus on here, you got DeFi games, DAOs, consumer apps, and institutional applications. And a lot of them, you know, they kind of, they overlap. So with DeFi, a dedicated lane, de-risk from gas fee spikes or network outages. That's because, you know, if everyone's doing an NFT mint and the gas fee spike or something like that, it, it can cause a little bit of, you know, just weirdness on the chain. You can bridge natively, so avoid centralized bridging risk by using your Caldera Chain's two-way trustless bridge. 
I'm, I'm going to take their word on that one. I haven't looked into the tech on that. And internalize or eliminate N MEV. So uh, you could commit to a fair ordering scheme. You have full control over the meme pool design. With games, it's all about the speed. And then that optional gas, as we mentioned, DAOs, consumer apps, a lot of this is just sort of the same, right? And then if you wanted to build a dApp on top of one of these, you know, rollups that let's say I created a rollup, it takes under half an hour to deploy your Ethereum compatible application to a Caldera chain. So the way I'm reading that is if I make a rollup and you want to create a dApp, as long as I make my rollup permissionless, then they would help you with deploying that. Quickly here, I want to go through the importance of rollups because that's what that's how Ethereum plans to scale in general is these layer twos. So rollups are blockchains that rely on another layer one blockchain, especially Ethereum, for settlement while providing better scalability and performance guarantees compared to the underlying blockchain. So like the benefit of using Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, that kind of thing is it is faster because the execution is in the rollup. And then all they have to do is settle on the main chain. So there's ways that they do this, but you can, so bundling transactions, rollups work by aggregating or rolling up multiple transactions into a single transaction or batch to send down to the main chain. You've got the off chain execution is, and this is what speeds everything up and maybe makes it cheaper compared to the L1, which might be pretty expensive. The execution of transactions is performed off chain in rollups thereby reducing the data that needs to be posted to the main blockchain. So it saves money there. And then posting to the layer one, right? It's going to do that. Usually when it comes to rollups, the big issue when it comes to centralization are the sequencers, which are generally centralized. And they even say that here in this, uh, in this article. What they say here, Caldera supports decentralized sequencing via an integration with Espresso, a premier decentralized sequencing network which kind of has me a little bit confused. I'm not fully in the L2 space, but if you can just integrate with Espresso and then your sequencer is decentralized, why aren't they all just doing that? And then you might be wondering, all right, I'm going to create a rollup, but who is hosting it? Who's validating it? Some of those kind of questions. So who hosts the infrastructure for Caldera? By default, they host all the infrastructure for Caldera chains, including both the blockchain nodes themselves and auxiliary infrastructure, like the indexers, block explorers, those tools we saw on the main website. And you don't need to find any validators of your own. Caldera will act as the validator sequencer for the blockchain. And then can you transfer funds between my Caldera chain and other blockchains? Yes. By default, Caldera chains come with a trustless bridge, as we sort of already alluded to. So I guess if I did have a question on this segment is, how decentralized is your chain really if you have to, you know, in order to log in and create a Caldera chain, you do have to have like an email address and all that kind of thing. So I'm not so sure that it would be that censorship resistant and permissionless because if your identity is necessarily tied to it, maybe it's easy for them to shut down. If somebody was to point to them and say, hey, Caldera, you guys need to shut down this rollup. Would that be possible? I'm not entirely sure. Unfortunately, their Discord, there's nobody to talk to in the Discord, and they don't have anything else that I could find to ask that question. So at least right now, I just don't know. They do have some good partnerships too, Super Oracles. I've been seeing a lot about Super Oracles. I think this was even over in the Radix ecosystem as a partner. I don't know if it's a backup to Chainlink or if maybe it's just a competitor moving away from Chainlink, but it's just an Oracle, but you see them partnering with them. And then also with Layer Zero, so your Caldera chain, whatever rollup you make, it might be able to be one-click interoperable with other chains. So for example, if you wanted to do something on your rollup, you might be able to have it land on Binance Smart Chain or one of the other chains that Layer Zero is integrated with, which could be pretty cool. That's going to be it for Caldera. One to possibly add to your watch list. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Does this make it on your watch list to keep an eye out for a launch or an airdrop in the future? And if you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.